Hi guys, welcome to my affordable watch collection. My name is Aviv, and today we are taking a look at the quartz version of the Yema Heritage Superman, a French vintage style dive watch I have been wanting to have a go at ever since I first started this channel. A big thank you goes out to Yema for making that happen and loaning me this piece for review. I will be returning it once I'm done with it. Yema was founded in France in 1948 by watchmaker Henry Louis Belmont. The Yema Superman was first introduced in 1963 as a tool for professional divers. It had since had many variations produced, including the 53.00.16, the very watch this watch is based on and pays tribute to. In 1982, Yema changed hands for the first time when Henry Louis Belmont's son sold the company to a French watchmaking group. By that time, the brand was selling millions of watches every year. Yema kept changing ownerships throughout the years, including a period of 16 years being owned by none other than the Seiko Corporation between 1988 and 2004. In 2009, Yema was acquired by the French watchmaker group Munt Ombre, and has been a part of it ever since. Over the years, Yema watches have flown to space twice, were worn by French Air Force pilots, Formula One drivers, and were even strapped on an explorer's wrist on a North Pole expedition in 1986. Yema's current heritage line taps into the rich history of the brand, reviving the old icons with modern materials and manufacturing techniques. In fact, the watch we are taking a look at today is an almost a one-to-one -one replica of the first Supermans of the 1960s and 70s, visually speaking. The Superman Heritage Quartz is available in three different variations, each one representing a different model out of Yema's back catalog. Their price is 490 US dollars. That's not an insignificant amount of money, especially for a quartz piece. Let's see what you can expect to get when you order one of these. Inside of this black Yema branded canvas bag, you'll find a useful perforated synthetic leather travel case that stores the watch. A two years international warranty card made of synthetic leather as well, and a little booklet in which you have the instruction manual, some information about the brand, and some nice colorful pictures of Yema watches. I specifically asked for the quartz version because of its relatively compact dimensions. Now, Yema lists the width of the case as 39 mm, but no matter how I tried going about it, I couldn't get that measurement. I measured the case itself at 38 mm, and the bezel, which slightly protrudes over it, at 38.7 mm. Its thickness, again according to my measurements, is 11.4 mm including the protruding crystal, the distance between the lugs is 19 mm, but the bracelet itself flares out and tapers down from 21 mm at its widest point to 15 and a half at the clasp. Lug tip to lug tip is spot on 48 mm, and with two links removed to fit my 7 inch wrist, the watch weighs 113 grams. The modern Superman is water resistant to 200 meters, which is actually 100 meters less than the original Superman of the 60s, but it still makes it a capable dive watch. The dial is muted matte black, and everything on it is printed on. Starting with a simple white mini track along the edge, loomed hour markers, a downwards facing triangle at the 12 o'clock position, batons at the 6 and 9, and circles everywhere else except for the 3 o'clock position, which gives its place to a white frame date complication window. The date wheel is white, with black numbers printed on it. Yema's name and logo are found below the triangle at the 12, and Superman beneath those. 660 feet is printed high above the 6 o'clock baton, and France is printed below it, mixed into the minute track. The Superman sports an interesting set of highly polished hands. The hour hand is simple pencil shaped. The minute hand has a large arrowhead tip. And the seconds hand is shaped like a shovel with just a touch of red color, just like on the original watch. 
all three hands are loomed. The loom material used on the hands and markers is Swiss C3 Superluminova. Its bright green glow will provide you with a good few hours of visibility in low light conditions. The coin edged stainless steel bezel houses an aluminum dive time bezel insert. On a vintage inspired piece like this one, I actually prefer this over a ceramic insert. It has a downwards facing triangle with a loomed peep on its center marking the 12 o'clock position and lines and numbers all around to keep track of your dive time or anything else you want to time. It has the same bezel lock mechanism that the original watch had and if you want to operate the bezel, you have to screw the crown out to release it. This is a 120 click unidirectional bezel that operates very well. It is firm and tactile and while it isn't very grippy, it does align perfectly with the dial. When you're done, screw the crown back in to lock the bezel securely in place. Covering the dial is a 2.6 mm thick, high domed mineral crystal. Whether or not it has any anti-reflective coating, I don't know, but what I do know is that it complements the vintage aesthetics very well. To make this 316L stainless steel case, Yama had the original Superman case from the 60s 3D rendered, and then tweaked it to accommodate the modern movement that is sticking inside. The result is a very pleasing retro case that really gives you that feeling of handling a vintage watch. It is treated to a fine brushed finish throughout, emphasizing the toolish nature of the Superman. The lugs are drilled for easy strap changing, and slope down to meet your wrist. The crown at the 3 o'clock position is protected entirely by the crown guards, signed with Yama's vintage Y logo and screws down into place. Screw it out and pull it once to engage the quick set date function and pull it out again to set the time. The solid stainless steel case back displays Yama's historic crest embossed on its center. It too screws down and has some of the watch's information engraved around the edge. This version of the Superman is powered by a Swiss-made Ronda 515 FE. This is a one joule time and date quartz movement that offers 45 months of battery life and a stated accuracy of minus 10 to plus 20 seconds per month. The watch comes on a beautifully tapering H-link bracelet. It is made up of solid stainless steel links and solid end links. The outer H-shaped links are brushed and the middle links are highly polished, giving a nice visual contrast. The end links do feature female middle links, but that doesn't really help with the wearing experience since the first links of the bracelet don't articulate and don't drape down straight from the case. They do angle down significantly and shouldn't overhang even off very small wrists. The rest of the bracelet articulates nicely. The links are held together with the pin and collar system, something we are going to talk about a bit more in the con section. The clasp is milled and has Yama's logo engraved on top. It closes with friction only and has a security latch that folds over it. There are some more engravings on the folding parts of the clasp, which is a nice touch. The clasp also features four holes for micro adjustment and a fully milled diver's extension, just in case you want to wear this watch on a wetsuit. Let's put it on my 7-inch wrist and see how it wears. Now, this is how wearing an icon on the wrist looks like. This is actually a very comfortable stainless steel dive watch to wear. I love the size of the case, I love the way it hugs the wrist, and how relatively close to the wrist the watch's head sits. Legibility is very good as you would expect of a diver. The light colored hands and indices do a great job contrasting against the black background of the dial. Being a black dial diver means it would look great on many different straps, but since I don't want to risk scratching this loner piece and I don't have that many 19mm straps anyway, I won't be showing you any options today. If you want you can look it up on Instagram for inspiration. Now, before we talk about the pros and cons, 
there's a big elephant in the room that needs to be addressed. In the last few years, there have been multiple reports about Yema watches having numerous QC issues. It seems that people are receiving watches with issues right out of the factory and encounter less than satisfactory customer service. The watch Yema sent me has an issue with either the battery or the movement, where it just stops ticking every once in a while. This, of course, is unacceptable on a $500 watch. If this wasn't a review piece, but instead a watch I have purchased for myself, I would be really bummed about having to send it back to the company to get the problem fixed. Yema did own up to the issue and took responsibility for it. They offered to replace it and send me a new one for review. But since this one goes back to the company anyway once I'm done with it, I didn't really see the point of doing that. This does not mean you would necessarily get a faulty watch when you buy from Yema, but it is something to keep in mind. On that regard, Yema should definitely pay closer attention to the quality control if they want to maintain a good reputation. Now let's look at the pros and cons of the watch itself. The cons are pretty obvious today, I think. First and foremost, I think that for the price of the watch, a sapphire crystal would be a much better choice for the sake of better scratch resistance. Then there's the 19mm lug width, which will make finding suitable strap alternatives a bit more of a challenge. Not impossible, but definitely not as easy as finding 20mm straps. Another thing is the pin and collar system used to connect the bracelet links, which I fail to see the benefit of. In most cases, it just makes resizing the bracelet a bit of a nightmare. And if you happen to lose one of the collars, it renders the bracelet useless. On the pro side, we are looking at an icon reborn. When you buy a Yema, you know you are buying a watch with rich history behind it. Yema's current owner did a fine job recreating the look and feel of the old time Superman. And the result is a good looking and a very enjoyable watch that would make a great addition to any watch collection. Besides that, you get solid stainless steel construction of the case and bracelet, both very nicely finished. You get a Swiss movement that should be very reliable. You get a cool bezel with a unique locking system that looks awesome. Swiss loom, a solid diver's extension, 200 meters of water resistance with both a screw down crown and a screw down case back and great size and proportions that look great on the wrist. If Yema would only sort their quality control out and make sure each and every watch they send out is 100%, this would be a watch I would feel comfortable recommending. Let me know what you guys think of the Yema Superman Quartz Heritage by dropping a comment below. In the description of this video you'll find a link to Yema's website where you can check out their entire lineup of really cool vintage style watches. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my affordable watch collection and hit the notification bell for more affordable watches related content. You can also follow me on Instagram and get to know me and my collection a little bit better, get all the news about the channel and connect with me on a more personal level. If you've enjoyed this video, you might enjoy one of these two as well. I want to thank Yama for letting me spend some time with this watch and to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you next time.